Hello, this is Victor from Black Pisces Production, and you're watching the How to Mix Power Metal video series. The previous part of the video series was the last one about guitars. Today, I'm going to talk about the scenes that I used in this mix, namely about the pad and the ARP channels. I recorded the MIDI signal for these tracks with an Icon iKeyboard 6X. This is how the scenes sound. For the patch track, I was looking for a nice simple synth pad, so I decided to use the patch shop plugin. I found the back to the 90s preset that was almost exactly what I was looking for. The first insert on this track is the virtual mix rack plugin with the VCC channel and the London modules. The VCC channel is set to USA mode and the drive is set to 14 dBs. I store these settings on group 6 and use them for every synth track in this mix. I use the London module for saturation to get a smooth sound. After the virtual mix rack, I used the Infinity EQ plugin. I felt like the synth pad was too dark for this mix, so I boosted the highs a lot and cut out some low frequencies. I used the high pass filter to cut everything below 87.7 Hz. I boosted 1.29 dBs at 2.25 kHz and 29 dBs about 6 kHz. Yes, you heard it right, 29 decibels. There are no rules in mixing. If it sounds good, it is good. And now these two plugins together. I send this track into my room and reverb FX tracks to give it more space and to help it sit better in the mix. I wanted a sound in the choruses that has movement, so I tried to find an arpeggiator for this purpose. I found the grid preset in Anna 2. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but it was pretty close, so I decided that I would use it. I call this track ARP. The first insert on the ARP track is the virtual mix rack plugin with the VCC channel and the New York modules. The VCC channel is set to group 6. This time I used the New York module to saturate the signal. The second insert on this channel is the Infinity EQ plugin. I wanted a darker sounding arpeggiator because this was jumping out from the mix, so I decided to cut the highs about 7 kHz with a low pass filter. I used the high pass filter too to cut out the lows below 200 Hz. I boosted 1 dB around 6 kHz just to return some high frequencies into the signal in a controlled way. And now the VMR and the Infinity EQ plugins together.
I send the ARP track into my room and reverb FX tracks. This helped the arpeggiator find its own place in the stereo field. I send the pad and the ARP tracks into a group track called Synth. The only plugin on this track is the Virtual Mix Rack with the VCC Mix Bus and FG401 modules. The VCC Mix Bus is set to Group 6. The FG401 module is used to glue the synth tracks together and to smooth out the transients. The attack is set to 2 and the release is set to 1. The compressor is showing around 1 dB of gain reduction with 2 to 1 ratio. In this video I showed you the synths. If you learned something new, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. In the next part of the video series we are going to take a look at the vocals. Thank you for watching, see you next time.